Hi, is that you? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. You're here to visit us? I show everything we went through. Zatu, you must be interested in our game. Right? Wrong. Shopping in Pokemon Square is what they came to. I come here only because it is on the way. This is not very important. Oh, is that all? <clears throat> hey, Zatu. Oh, hey. There you are. Didn't know you'd be here. You had me looking for looking. You had me looking for that too. What is it? Well, to the north east of Mount Hunter, this gigantic cave. It wasn't anything like that there before, hey? So if you'd Zazu would know something. I shall call it the Meteor Cave. Meteor Cave? There's one requested to destroy the fallen star. It's broken pieces. They scatter across the skies. One tumble to the earth. Just one. Not the one that hit lines. No, no, no. It fell into a mountain and made the cavern you speak of. Um, Blastoise? Did you explore the same meteor cave? Uh, yeah. Just a little. The place was crawling with these weird things. It freaked me out. I couldn't stay very long. <laughs> surprise, surprise! Blastoise ca Bla Blastoise is carrying the car. <clears throat> What's that? Hey, you, Ivory. If you were to see me, don't you? You'd be intimidated too. I've never seen anything like it before. There were downright bizarre things in there. Even sure or even Pokemon. Zatu, do you have any idea what the things are in that place? Mm. I draw a blank. I do not know. However, oh, that cavern, the collision that it caused, had to be news. If there were things that survived the crash, perhaps of this world, they may not be. You mean, if it came from that falling star? So, Zeno, want to investigate to meet your cave? And we gain access to meet your cave. Hello everyone, this is Zeno and Zeno here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Dungeon Racing Team DX. This is just this episode, just showing off what else there is to do. Just to show off, meet your cave. And we have all the dungeons unlocked. I actually have done some things on screen, just to unlock this. This is the only dungeon where you can't be rescued. In the original, there were only three items. You can only bring three items from your toolbox into this dungeon. I will also be telling you guys, I am actually recording these in multiple parts, but you will be seeing this in full episodes. So, I don't know how long this will take, but for me, it will be see you guys. see you guys much later, or maybe a few seconds, for you, it'll just be one second. Oh, finally, back. So, time to show off the thing I've been dreading. Yes. Walk out. My precious merchandise. Catch the thief. Meet. The deadliest Pokemon that we can face. He just one shots. This isn't good. I knew I was probably gonna die. This is not Yeah. <laughs> 
watch as I get murdered. Just watch, watch, watch. Oh, here, it's the same thing. That's why you kick it's so deadly with some noise. And we didn't just lose our items and money. Oh, all oh right. That's the one game they don't do that. In the original, they replaced your items with plain seeds. Yes, we failed. Dear, how dare you pretend to be happy? You stole my happiness, Cackling. Huh. Both that. For me, this will be a few more hours. For you guys, it'll literally just be. Welcome you to Rescue Team Nostalgia. This is my personal rescue team. As you can see, I'm at Rescue Team Rank Hyper. I only have two more ranks to go and uh, just show off miscellaneous. I have a lot of money. <laughs> This is what we're important to see. Oh wait. Alright, you just say something. Now there's a statue of Lucario. This pose is so awesomely cool. For some reason I bet we could find one in the mystery house. These are the four statues you can get. My engineer appears where Mr. Mime is a weevil, I don't know why we there's a there's a real statue now, other than just being like, oh yeah, this was in the original game. And Lucario, we can find Riolu in Mystery Houses now. Randomly. I haven't found one, though. I have been through all the dungeons. Just to show you. The only place I haven't actually finished is the Grand Sea, actually. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing, but I've actually been through all of these dungeons. I don't know why which cave does not have an out, but hey. I've been to all of these. Yes, and they've been beating Purity Forest. So let's talk about rewards. For Purity Forest, if you beat it, you get to the end, you 
get Sylvie. However, if you go back to the Western Cave, as you notice, there's two Celebes. A shiny one. This is a reference to Mr. Dungeon 2. And honestly, they do change the dialogue style, which is nice touch, nice touch, nice touch. Enclosed Island. Deoxys is in the UK, being it allows you to recruit Deoxys. Deoxys's meteor cave is weird, you have to find Deoxys and beat it. Your strats look out, is being crazy, people can just be crowded on. Yep, same. You know how to get these. These are all the same. Secret field you can find and recruit these. Mew is the same. Mewtwo is the same. Legendary is the same as you know. Jirachi, get to the end, you get Wish, and you can just as to recruit Pokemon. If you're going to recruit all Pokemon, I recommend we doing this last. Get every Pokemon first, except for Real and Lucario, and then do it. The Ancient Relic. This is where the Regis live, which is weird. Unknown. Dragon Cave. Evolution Forest. I believe there is no more legendary Pokemon to show off. Oh yeah, there's Wailers. I'm not sure Wailers to show how gigantic it is. But yeah, this is all there is. Now I might as well have a while to show off how to do Best way to get draw experience. I'm not going to actually do a full on mission, but just show roughly what it should be like. You go to help friend. You go to internet, and then you're given. Yeah, and if you don't have them, you get NPC jobs. Then you go to the hardest one you can get, but you can complete. Let's say it was. Let's say it was Fury Forest. You collect them and then you go to them. We're not going to actually do Fury Forest. Uh, let's just say it's Lion. Let's just do Lion Field. It's not. We're not actually going to do it, but hey. And then you click another one, and then you do it over and over. You want to do as much as you can, as much missions as you can, and max out your jobs, as many jobs in there. And then you go out. So it's a dungeon, like you feel. Let's actually edit the team. Yes, edit team, because I want to show off Wailer. Because Wailer is crazy big. It's funny how big it is. You know what? We're cell beat, they're cell beat. Alright, might as well show up. Yeah, I got some reboot to level 100. Is it worth it? No. What's the part? <laughs> Still makes me laugh. Yeah, this is how big we lord is. Bigger than Rekwaza. Oh, don't fuss over me. Why not worry about your own well-being? Though it's small time. I believe Selby has slightly through dialogue. I'll watch your backs. Don't worry, there's nothing about. Yeah, I am. And if you do this, there's slightly different dialogue changes. Sailby does have the slight changes in Q and obviously sparkles. Team. Don't tell me that 
the NBC team is actually just unknown of NBC. That's 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 bad. That's so kind of funny. <laughs> I just wasn't sure how big the healer is. Use. Finally. I believe the MC teams don't give much, but if you actually receive the people, you do. And the rewards are much better as well, allowing you to make your Pokemon even stronger and build the rest of people easier. Which is kind of like what I wish Charlie Connor would, sh would actually show, because it's like, oof. Especially if you get one at the Silver Trench. So, that, I believe, that is basically everything. So, I guess, this is the, this is the amazing amount of, not Rescue Team Mystery this time, Rescue Team Nostalgia. Signing out, and I'll see you on the next Let's Play. See ya.